Hey guys, welcome back to our channel to go find Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you do. We're very, very grateful. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0, and we have some amazing videos that uh, we posted last month and i'm sure you guys will enjoy them you can also check out our instagram funny and jesse and feel free to follow us message us whichever one you're comfortable with feel free to be friendly with us and we'll be more than glad to uh talk to you guys and if you have anything that you want us to react to drop the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it a big shout out to the person that suggested this. So today I'm going to be reacting to Sapient, Sapient, Sapient Thoughts 2. Does the Quran say the word is flat? Muhammad, Muhammad hijab. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? And welcome to Sapien Thoughts, a regular series where we'll be talking about some theo philosophical issues as well as some arguments that are leveled against Islam. Today I'm going to be speaking about something which is actually littered all over the kind of anti Islamic websites. It's a specious argument, really. Uh, an argument saying that the, you know, the Quran and Hadith or Islam in its primary text indicates that the earth is flat. Let's take a look at the Quran and the commentaries of the early people because I think that's a very important place to start. So if you look at the entirety of the Quran from Fatiha until Nas, you'll find that really the earth is being referred to in different ways. You know, in Surah Al-Baqarah, for example, the very first chapter after Surah Al-Fatiha, the second chapter in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمْ الْأَرْضَ فِرَاشًا وَالسَّمَاءَ بِنَاءً وَأَنْزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً you know, he is the one who has made for you the earth as a spread, if you like. And he sent down from the sky water. And if you look at the 88th chapter of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he asks some rhetorical questions. And one of them, one of those rhetorical questions is, have you not seen the earth and how it's sotihat, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it, smoothed it over? For this reason, some people actually in the early times, as well as those individuals who are indicating that this is the only interpretation of Islam are saying that, well, look, the Quran is indicating that the earth is flat. They'll even look at chapter number um, chapter number 78 of the Quran, where in the beginning of the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know, uh, Have we not made the, ard, the earth as a bed? And this is another argument. They say, well, a bed is flat and therefore the earth is indicated as flat in the Quran. This is not the case. Uh, because, as early commentators have indicated, people like Ibn Hazm, who was a, you know, 4th century, 5th century scholar, someone who was not influenced, and could not have been actually influenced by uh, modern scientific discussions. He says in his book Al-Fisal, he mentions that the, the Quran indicates that the earth is round. And his argument is, in chapter 39, verse 5, Allah says, that in chapter 39 verse 5, God says, He rolls the day into the night, and He rolls the night into the day, and He has made subservient for you the, 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 shams, the sun and the moon, and the qamar, and every single one of those are running in an orbit uh, to a time appointed. To a place appointed. So in other words, chapter 39, verse 5, he says that taqweer, this taqweer that's taking place could not have been or could not be a taqweer that takes place on a flat surface. He says that the taqweer comes from the Arabic word qura, which, mean, which indicates that by necessity, this would mean that the night is rolling into or onto a, a spherical um, kind of surface. And likewise the day, and therefore the earth is round according to the Qur'an. So how does he explain, and other scholars explain, those other verses which we started this, this discussion with, which indicate that the earth is, uh, you know, has been, been stretched out, muddat, 
or it's been uh, you know uh, spread out and so on and so forth he says well if you look on a you know for example if you look at a plane of the earth the earth word ard in, in the first place actually means the ground below so as we're looking at the ground below we're seeing that it's been smoothed over in opposition to for example you know the craters of the moon so if you look at the moon and look at the kind of the, 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 the ground on the moon, the craters on the moon is very bumpy. Whereas the earth, uh, the, you know, the, the surface of the earth is very smooth. And that's how they're able to harmonize between the two kinds of verses. Likewise, Ibn Taymiyyah in his Kitab Al-Arsh, which is part of Majmu'at Al-Fatawa, a, a literalist in his own right, or apparentist, whatever way you want to put it, someone who looks at the Qur'an and doesn't even believe in metaphor in the Qur'an. This is one of the only people in the history of Islam who's actually said, we don't, I don't even believe in a, such a thing as a metaphor in the Qur'an. He says that the earth is round. And he, he in fact even quotes an ijma' on it. He, he quotes a consensus among the scholars on this, on this point. Now this view, he says, Ibn Taymiyyah, goes all the way back to the early generation, to a person who has a chain of narration called Ibn Munada. So Ibn Munada is someone who comes in the 4th century or the 3rd century and who says that the earth is round and he is one of the students of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, another person who um, he, he wasn't going to metaphorize verses of the Qur'an, especially those cosmological ones which could be referring to certain uh, phenomena. Therefore, I think in sum, if we were to be fair to the tradition, I think the most that can be said in terms of making an argument against the Qur'an is that the Qur'an can be interpreted as saying the earth is flat. But you can't say that that is the only valid interpretation. That's an impossible thing to say. In fact, it's ahistorical because it's something which has been disproven by the very fact that the most apparentist and literalist scholars of the early times, people like Ibn Hazm, who was a Zahiri, who was someone who was a literalist, you know, he does not believe in a PS, uh, analogy, or someone like Ibn Taymiyyah, who does not believe in majaz, or um, metaphorization of the Qur'an. People like that, and Ahmed ibn Hanbal and his Ashab, people like Ibn Munada, they said the earth is round, and they based their view on, uh, they based their view on the Qur'an and the verses of it. So, this specious argument that's leveled uh, the, uh, the Qur'an or Islam is exactly that. It's, it's, it's really a weak argument with very little explanatory or refutational power when it comes to the historical exegetical works of the Muslim scholars. And so for this reason, we say this is a null and void refutation, which I can't even believe, quite frankly, I can't even fathom how this has made the top 10 of the most, if you like, uh, popular interrogations against Islam in these uh, the weak uh, websites against Islam. I can't believe it, that people actually take these arguments uh, as carrying any kind of weight. And they continually use these arguments, despite the fact that the evidences have been shown time and time again. But these people are not ready and, uh, ready and willing to listen to this evidence, so we just have to put it out there. فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَالْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ as the Quran says, whoever wants to can believe, and whoever wants to can disbelieve. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a very interesting conversation that has been going on for many, many years. What do you guys actually have to say about this? Because I'm still conflicted. Why are some people saying it's a flat earth? Why are some people saying it's not flat, it's round? what i wish this video was longer and went into more details but otherwise um this was even actually interesting to come across because i guess he was giving this from um from as uh, from from an islamic point of view what about other people what do they actually think there's all there's there's just so many things in this world people think something is black or white but maybe it's gray so wow we're thinking it's round or flat maybe it's something else i mean let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video